Hi everyone, I'm Miss Brianna from the Hopel Branch Library and Bob News has asked me to step in as a guest host for this installment of the Children's Author Trivia Series. This week, Bob has lined up a group of fantastic authors for you. Many of these authors write books for children of all ages, but today most will be presenting trivia questions about their books written for middle grade readers. Now, if you've seen these trivia videos before, you know how it works. The author will ask a question and will give you a little time to think about an answer. If you need more time, you can just push the pause button and write down your answer. And when you're ready to continue, just hit play. So good luck and have fun. Hi, I'm Barbara D. I'm the author of Maybe He Just Likes You. My new book that just came out, My Life in the Fish Tank, has a main character who does science experiments with crayfish in her science class. My question for you is, can you name two of the crayfish that they do the experiments on? Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> they are Claude, Crazy, Crayola, Ray, Ashley, and Sugar Lumps. Hi, I'm Rachel Bryan, author of Consent for Kids and The Worry Less Book. And I have a trivia question for you. In the book Consent for Kids, it talks about setting boundaries and how sometimes you might change your mind. Is it okay to change your mind? Think about that while you watch these hens foraging. <laughs> The answer is yes, it's always okay to change your mind, especially when it has to do with your body. Happy reading. Hi everybody. My name is Sandra Dumay and I'm the writer and illustrator of the book Farm Crimes, Cracking the Case of the Missing Egg, out with Owl Kids Books. Today I have a bit of trivia for you, for Bob at the Hopewell Branch. Um, and my question for you is when the animals are about to start the search for the missing egg. What is strange about the map that the inspector pulls out? He has a map of the farm and he's going to give everybody a place to look, but there's something weird about that map. What is it? I will tell you. The map is upside down. So when we're reading the book, we actually have to turn the book around. And it even says on the side, oops, it's upside down. So that's a fun detail. I hope you are all doing well and keeping safe. And I hope you get a chance to check out my book, Farm Crimes, Cracking the Case of the Missing Egg. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Jim Benton, the author and artist behind Dear Dumb Diary. Here's my question. Can you tell me who Jamie's best friend is? If you said Isabella, you're right. Hi everybody, author Suzanne Nelson here. I'm the author of the middle grade novel, A Tale Magnolias. The adventures of an orphan, her elephant, and some rather unusual seeds. My trivia question for you is, in the town of Fortune's Bluff, where Nitty and Magnolias escape to, there is a mayor, Nizer Snollygast. He seems to be up to no good, and Nitty, Magnolias, and her best friend Twitch are very suspicious about the mysterious dust storms that are plaguing the dying town of Fortune's Bluff. They suspect that Nizer may have something to do with them. You'll have to read the book to find out what happens, but here's the trivia question. What is Mayor Neeser Snollygast's rare and unusual talent? Da na 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 da na 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 na. Okay, are you ready for the answer? The answer is Mayor Neeser Snollygast can whistle music through his nose. All right, that's the answer. Thanks so much, and I hope you read about Nitty Magnolias and Twitch and their adventures. Bye. 
Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Estrada. I am the author of Student Ambassador, The Missing Dragon, which is a graphic novel that is just an action-packed adventure around the world uh, where two little boys, a Mexican-American kid and a boy king have to solve a mystery and you can help them by learning interesting things about the world. One of the things that these kids have to do in order to solve the mystery is learn a secret code. But it's not just a code I made up. They learn how to read Korean. And in my book, you can learn to read Korean. So I have written a Korean word for you. And I want to know if you can guess what this word says. Now, I'll give you a hint. It is one of the branches of the Mercer Library System. So is it Ewing, is it Hickory Corner, Heightstown, Hollowbrook, Hopewell, Lawrence, Robbinsville, Twin Rivers, West Windsor? What do you think? Do, 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 do. If you guessed Ewing, you're right. It's Ewing. It's just the easiest one to make out of Korean characters. If you want to learn how to read Korean, you can actually do it just by reading this book. So check out Student Ambassador, The Missing Dragon. Thank you very much. See you later. Good morning, readers. I'm Cindy Callahan, the author of Just Add Magic and several Lost End books, as well as Sydney McKenzie Knocks Him Dead and Saltwater Secrets. And I have a couple of questions for you today about titles. It just so happens that most of my books were actually written under different titles than they're published. Just Add Magic had a different title, and I'm wondering if you can figure out what it is. If you think about what the book is about, Kelly Quinn and her friends finding a mysterious cookbook and starting a secret club. Then my book, Lost in Paris, had an alternate title, as did Lost in Rome. And my book, Lost in Ireland, was actually published before it was Lost in Ireland under a different title. Do you know what any of these are? Just Add Magic was originally written to be called Kelly Quinn's Secret Cooking Club. Lost in Paris was originally titled Pardon My French. Lost in Ireland was originally called Lucky Me. And Lost in Rome was originally titled Hashtag Pizza Maker Matchmaker. Thank you, keep reading, bye. Hi, my name is Julie Lee, and I'm the author of Brother's Keeper, a story inspired in part by my mother's escape from North Korea during the Korean War. Here's my trivia question for you. When 12-year-old Sora and her little brother Youngsoo make the dangerous trek to South Korea on their own in the middle of a war, they encounter a strange woman and her teenage daughter who are not exactly trustworthy. What animal pops its head out of the woman's bag? If you guessed a chicken, then you're right. Thanks so much for playing trivia with me. Bye. Hey, my name is Dustin Brady. I'm the author of Trapped in a Video Game. My question today comes from book four in the series. It's called Return to Doom Island. This book introduces a new villain named Max Rubin. Uh, Max is on a TV show that rips off a popular long-running competition show. My question is, what show does Max's show rip off? Is it Wheel of Fortune, Survivor, Shark Tank, Big Brother, or Amazing Race? And the answer is Shark Tank. Did you get it? All right, have a good day. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Kim Hyun Suk. I'm the co author of Band Book Club. It is about how when I, when I was a teenager, I tried to join a a book club to study and make new friends uh, but accidentally I joined a team of students who were who were fight against a uh, dictator I got chased by the police uh, the dictator was removed from his office and went to jail in 2016 Korean did it again we sent our prison to jail. We have a new prison now. 
uh, he used to fight for the rights for the uh, band book clubs like mine. So my question is, who is the president of South Korea today? The answer is Moon Jae-in. Bye everyone! Hi again. How'd you do? I was able to answer some of the questions, but I had to guess at a few others. Well, I'd really like to thank all of the authors for taking time out of their busy schedules to make these creative videos for us. It is so much fun to hear their trivia questions and to find out about their newest books. And all of these books are available at the library and you can now visit us in person on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturday afternoons. And if you prefer contactless pickup, you can arrange for a curbside service on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturday mornings. All the information about the library hours is available on our website at www.mcl.org. And while at the website, you should check out our event calendar so that you can find out about all of the upcoming programs that are available at the library. We have story times and um, programs for school age children and adult crafts and children's crafts and so many offerings for you. Um, and if you enjoy middle grade books as much as I do, you'll be pleased to know that we have a middle grade book club that meets monthly. And our next live virtual meeting will be on Thursday, November 19th at 3.30 p.m. And you can also register for this program at our website. So thanks for joining me today and keep reading. Bye.